This I am is so good. He's pretty decent. He's not he's not a bad player at all. Um, the one thing I would say is his issue is he's a, he's a he's a one trick Andy. He doesn't actually know how to play any openings except for the um, except for the London system. That's 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 the one thing I would say. He's not universal enough if he wants to become a strong GM. Okay, so let's play some some classical blitz. Um, just I guess regular blitz. Play knight f three here. I'm gonna play just play c3 and d4. Are we gonna have classic OTB this year? I think it's very unlikely, you guys. Music quality is bad. Thank you for that. Appreciate it. Um, I guess I just castle play d4 is completely fine. One thing I love about Higar is that he's always very direct. I mean, I, I don't know. That's just my my attitude. How was the stream with Anish? Fantastic. It was great. Okay, I guess I just take and move the knight to d2. Rookie 1, knight e4 next move. Let's go rookie 1, maybe knight e4, knight f3. I think queen h5, knight e4 is very good. I have bishop c2 also. If bishop d3, just knight e4 is very strong. Okay, bishop c2 is a move. I think knight e4 and bishop c2 is very strong. I'm gonna go bishop g5 next. Knight f3 was maybe better. I don't know, but they both look good. Oh, bishop f4 I think is a very bad move. I think I have queen g4, maybe. I mean, even knight g5 looks very good. Now, knight c5 is strong. I want to play this precisely. Knight g5 is very good for white, but I, I kind of want to be more precise. But you know what? Whatever. Let's just do it. I don't need to be precise. Do I want to beat Gary? I mean, one second. Let me focus. Maybe rook d1 here and takes. I mean, rook d1 just looks strong. Rook e6 is also lurking here. Um, I can also play rook e3, rook h3, which looks very dastardly. Then bishop d3 takes, takes queen h6. I mean, I think I'm just doing really, really well here. Rook h3 is very, very strong. Although, actually, I just realized he can just move his queen. This was kind of stupid of me. He can just move his queen. That was very careless. That was really careless. I thought I could just go here, but he just goes queen d6. Very, very, very careless of me. I mean, I'm still much better, but yeah. Okay, let's just play h4 and queen f3, I guess. Go back, I have bishop f4, I have h5. He can play knight d5, then I take and go h5 anyway. Pretty good position. Um, let's go bishop f4, h5 next move. Kick the bishop, he's got to go back. Queen g3, very, very bad position for black here. He goes bishop f5, so first I can take the pawn if I want to. And I think I just do want to. I just drop back. Knight d5, I just take. Knight c4, is that really threatening anything? Not particularly. I think I can just take and go like rook d1. I have g3 next move, support the bishop. b3, c4 actually is much better, but I'm still doing very well here. Now, he's taking a long time. Okay, that doesn't really concern me. I can play a3 here. I can also go g4 at some point. I don't really want to go g4, so I'm just going to go a3. That doesn't really do anything. I have g4 again. Play g4 here. Actually, I don't know why I did that. He's got bishop c2. That was kind of stupid of me. I just play like rook e2. If queen b2, I can just move the bishop or push the pawn. Oh, did I just blunder somehow? I think I did just blunder. Wasn't paying attention. I just blundered. Lovely. Actually, did I blunder? I have rook e4. Oh, I just blundered again. Yeah, I'm really not paying attention at the moment. Wow, what am I doing? Crazy. Oh, I also did rook d1 maybe in some order there. So I take, drop the bishop back. It's all pretty standard here. He's thinking because he's trying to find some way not to take the rook here. But I think he kind of has to, because I'm just going to take the bishop. 
He's trying to find some way to win, but there is no way to win here. Is he tanking or is he disconnected? I'm confused. Maybe he's just disconnected. A little bit confused. Okay, he plays queen b2. Now, I feel like I should have some trick here with some queen move or something. I mean, I can also just take, but I, I think, um, I just take, play here. They take, so I go, uh, just, just here. Wait, why did I do that? That was stupid. Okay, I go here to kick the bishop. What am I doing, actually? I'm playing it so badly. Yeah. Go here. There. Oh, I gave him a draw. So stupid. Or no, wait, what? What am I doing, actually? Yeah, I just played so badly. I'm playing terrible chess right now. Let me wake up and focus. I'm playing really, really badly. I don't even know why I play. I could have played rook b2, and then I didn't play rook b2 for some stupid reason when it was completely fine. I don't even know what I'm doing right now. No, but I tanked, I tanked some games last night against this guy. So I, I, I've got four winning positions and I tanked four. So I kind of, I'm, I kind of have a reasoning. Wait, but now I take and go here and bishop f5 and queen b2. This is actually really bad for white. No, it's not coffee time. I just, I forgot he could go rook a2 and bishop f3 basically. And I don't even know why. Um, but I just, I completely forgot he could do that. So let's go knight b4. I'm gonna play e6 and knight h4. Actually, this is already just lost for white, I think, after bishop b7. So, why did I do this? Wait. So, knight h5, hit the bishop, f6, e6. Should be pretty fine. Don't sweat it. I mean, I should have won that game. I just. I forgot he could go rook a2, bishop e4, basically. That's what I forgot. Um. <clears throat> I just forgot he could do that, basically, which was pretty careless of me. Go here, if knight d3, I go knight d2 and take, or just back even. There's knight b5, which should not be a good move. I have rook c8, I guess, because rook c1, I just trade and take. Okay, it goes there. Now first I can trade, I can also just go back and take maybe, I think I just go back. So if he takes, I just take, and then I have, I have multiple forks, or this. Let's go a6, knight c3, I think I just play e6, if f5, king f7, or just takes and rook d8 looks fine. So with this, I think I just take and go rook d8. Doesn't look right somehow. Knight f4. I have knight b4. And just rook d8. Now I'm just now I'm just winning. It's rook d8, king f7, and g5, and just completely winning. Why does an on e stream on Twitch is he some kind of deal? Uh, I think no, I don't think he has a deal. I think he just picked YouTube because there are many more. There are a lot more chess streamers on Twitch to begin with. Uh, thank you to iSushi for the tier one. Thank you to Vrazix for the tier one. Thank you so much. Thank you to Ollie123 for the two months as well. Thank you. That does not actually do anything. I can just go here. I can also go rook d6. Which one is better? I think I just go... Or rook e8 is also... Let's see. Rook d7 just looks completely fine. Because takes, I just take. If he moves rook a4, then I go bishop d6 and it's just winning. Also, I would make the argument for Anish. Anish's base, the core of his audience, is generally, um, I would say, Indians. So it makes a lot more sense for Anish to be on, um, to be on, be on, um, to be on YouTube than Twitch. Let's just. I can take or just move the. Actually, if I just move the rook, what's his next move? Because his knight is stuck on the edge. 
and I just go here and I just take. Okay, check. Just rookie seven, and now I just yeah, it's just winning because he loses the rook. But yeah, I think I think for Anish, it's I mean I think it's his audience. Let's go here. I I should have won the first game, so I'm gonna play the same opening because this guy's opening was dubious. If he plays e6 this game, so I'll castle and play d4 here. Thank you, Caspina, for the five months. Thank you, Caspina. By the way, you guys, I had this line against uh, none other than Magnus Carlsen. I remember this very, very well because the last game that I, the last game that Magnus played before he broke Gary's record of twenty-eight fifty-one was against me. Like I needed to beat Magnus in this game in order for Magnus not to be published with a higher rating than Gary, because um, Gary's peak was I think twenty-eight fifty-one, and when Magnus drew this game against me in the London Chess Classic, he got to twenty-eight fifty-three publish. Um, and I remember this very well because this was like 2012. And I remember when I drew the game, I actually, um, I actually call, actually I didn't call him. I think I just wrote a message. But, um, but yeah, I wrote a message to Gary. And I basically, I actually I was like, sorry, man, apologies that I couldn't beat Magnus and help you keep your keep your record. <laughs> so, so yeah, Gary won't forgive you. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wrote Gary a message. Um, just, just, just to let you guys know. I think rook d1 is good. Knight e4 is also good. I forget what Gary said. He said something about positionally Magnus didn't like something. Some some of these kinds of positions. He won't forgive. Yeah. I'm much better here, by the way. Black has no development on the queen side. He goes queen b6, which is not a very good move, I don't think. I have bishop g5, which is very, very strong here. Although he's got knight d4, takes, bishop, takes, takes. Not clear. Not completely clear cut. I don't even know if he's really trying to take the pawn. I don't think he is, but um, knight g5 is probably also a good move. He takes, I take. If h6, queen e4, I don't know. There definitely are a lot of good moves for white here. I just have to figure out which one's best. And I think queen e4 is probably the best. Just put pressure on the pawn. I'm going to go here, force him to trade some stuff off. Who's playing today? I think today is, um, I think we have a Force and Hafu big match, and then we have Grippix against, no, we don't have Grippix against Dog Dog. Who, who, what is the other match? Can't remember what the other match is right off. Okay, so I take, I think I just go Knight. I have Rook D1 here, which is completely fine. It's Rook D1. Ah, Zexro versus Austin, right, I forgot, yeah, Zexro versus Austin, this is true. Did I write a script yet for today? Good one, you guys, good one. Okay, now I thought I could play Bishop e4, but then he, Bishop e4, Knight c3 is no good, Knight e5, if I take, 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 and f4, or if I play f4, and then f4, this takes him to 7, f4, 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 it's good, but, um, I also have knight f3 here, but I'm just going to go bishop e4, go for the kill. He's just going to take, and then I'm going to take. I mean, he has knight e5 too, but I feel like this is just bad for black, objectively. I'm moving way too slowly, though, I will admit. Knight e5, f4, should be good. So f4, kick the knight. He can't move the knight, and he loses the rook. Knight c6, I just take, take. I don't know what that is. I just take and take because I have this. King g7, I maybe can even go rook c7 and overload him. Planes in the background or is it me? Yeah, you guys, I'm, I live right next to LAX. I live in a hut right right, right there. Let's go here. If knight e3, he gets checked. Okay, but now he's just losing. I just take. And I just take. Oh, but he's got rook e8. I, no, no, actually, I can take that bishop f1. Uh, so this is just lost for black. Am I playing blindfold? Yeah, I'm playing blindfold chess with Levy later. We're going to play some subs, I think. Uh, we're going to do, like, we're just going to try to get 20 wins. We're going to switch off. Like, we might do hand and brain. We might do... I don't know exactly what we're going to do, but we're going we're gonna to do some stuff later, yeah. Okay, this is obviously just winning. Takes. Let's go... Um, why did I do this, actually? I kind of made a hash out of this. Maybe 95 just cleanly winning. Why did I play it? I guess just h3, knight f6, and move the rook, and knight e5 is just winning. Just knight e5 is game over. 
You're more Marina Del Rey than Venice. I don't know what you mean by that, but that sounds cool. Okay, now I think what I should play is Rook D7. Because if he takes, I take. Rook D7 is a class move. Okay, now I just take and go back. And now it's just over because this pawn's losing. Okay, I think I can just take. Just go. It's king F2 or King H2. I don't even know which move's best. He can obviously take, but he's going to lose this pawn on G4. Oh, I gave him knight f2, though. That was kind of stupid. That was really kind of careless. Go rookie 7. Take. Go here. I actually really misplayed this. Okay, I'm going to have to flag him. I misplayed this. Very upsetting. Why did I do this? Jeez. Oh, I blunder, I slipped, I slipped, I meant rook g7, I slipped. I meant rook g7, I totally slipped there. Thank you, brother Mike, I slipped, I meant rook g7. Oh, that's upsetting. Oops, that, yeah. I meant rook g7, I slipped. Oh, that's upsetting. That's really upsetting. That's upsetting. Oh, well, doesn't matter. This is my main account, at least, so it's not that big of a deal. But it's still slightly upsetting. Thank you to Bretta, um Thank you, Bretta Mike, for the five gifted. Thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Takes is a move. This is actually really quite bad for black. Let's play knight b8. Can't win up two pawns. I really misplayed that end game. I mean, I'm playing a little bit too slow. I'm playing too slowly. I don't know why. But I'm just playing too slowly. e5, I just take and play knight d7. Not my main account, still 3,000 rated, yeah. Yeah. I mean, I, I, I should not have, I should have won the first game too, so it's, the score is not really reflective of what it should be, but it's all good. I think I play, do so I play knight d7? I think I'm gonna go with this knight and play a6 next move. Yeah, I see Hans's win, yeah, we, we went over that already. Um, no, this is very bad for black, but he didn't punish me with e5 like he should have, and so now it just turns into some kind of normal game. Just castles, knight c5, maybe b5 at some point. Just knight c5 is good. If takes, I take and play b5 here. Actually, why did I play this? This is actually really ugly too. I'm gonna go here and take. Goes b4, knight c7, not great. I'm just gonna go back. Moves the knight, I just take. If he doesn't move the knight, I take the knight. I couldn't take right away because then he takes and he gets a really pass pawn here. Whoa, thank you, Brunna Mike. Thank you for the 25 gifted subs. Thank you so much to Brunna Mike. Thank you so much, man. Appreciate it. You are insane, man. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you. So I'm going to go knight g4 here next move and hit the bishop. If queen c7, just b5, knight c4, I think. Or not. It's just a mistake. Well, I mean, this might just be a big mistake. I can also play queen d7, maybe? I'm going to just go here and rook b8, rook b4. He's also got just h3, which he doesn't see, so I take. Knight 6, I take and go knight e5. I also have knight b8, but I think just knight. It's knight e5 or knight f6. I think this must be the right square to go queen c8 here. I'm not playing great chess right now, I mean, but I, I, I also should not have drawn that last game. He's playing fine. He's playing about where he should be. I'm, I'm actually... Yeah, and I missed this is why knight f6 was much better. Because now knight c3 and white's just much, much, much better. Although I do have knight g4 maybe. Knight g4, knight d5. I can play e6, but it's not great. Um, but yeah, yeah. Let's go here. This probably just loses somehow. But if I... Oh yeah, this just loses, doesn't it? If I take... Do I have c7 or something? Yeah, it's just terrible. Really bad openings that just cost me the game. Moobot for one thousand dollars. Wait, what? Moobot's doxing or something? What? What are you guys talking about? Oh, he's just got knight b6 at the end. I miss this. Watching the stream, I wouldn't know that I'm on TSM. Yeah, this is a bad game. Let me focus. And, uh, let me just focus, you guys. Let me just focus. Okay, no nonsense. I'm just gonna beat him five in a row. Just give me a second. No, no more messing around. Cause that game was kind of annoying. Um, 
Go c4, queen e3, knight c3. Okay, that's not the best move. Let's go queen e2 and take h3. If he takes, I just take. Let's go here and bishop e2. This is a pretty standard Magnus uh, opening. Yeah. Just rook b1, b3. I'm not actually. Uh, come on, relax. Relax, you guys. I'm not losing. Um, go bishop d2. Queen c5, just b3 is fine. Queen d3, actually, this is why bishop d2 is wrong. Is I was supposed to play b3 right away. Let's go b3 and take. If knight g4, just bishop d2. If knight e4, I just take. Okay, that doesn't do anything. I drop back. Knight e5, knight g5 is fine. If knight d4, bishop d1, and then f4, and I push the push the other other piece back. Okay, I just go back. I have f4 next move to kick the knight. I can also take it. Take an f4 or f3 even. F4 and bishop g4 should be fine. Knight e2. Knight e2 would blunder a knight f3. Wow. Okay, let's focus. Go here. If knight f3, I just take. It was 93, that's fine. 92, I think it should be good. Let's go 92 and take. How's this I am so good? He's pretty decent. Um, he's generally in, in this rating range. Okay, knight c5. Now I do have bishop g4, but I think just, just f3 is good. Consolidate. He goes g5. I can play h4 at some point, but I think I should actually just go g3, king g2, and play for f4 or h4. Play for the two levers here. This is actually a very Magnus-y position. Let's go. It's a very Magnus-esque position. I don't really want to take. He wants to go knight d4, so I'm just going to bring the king up. Um, and I'm going to move my bishop here. If knight d4, just rook c1 is good. Gonna go c5 next move, he plays rook f7. He doesn't do that, okay. So now the question is how do I expand on the queen side? I think I go b4, c5 basically. I mean h5 is never really a threat. I can play c5 here. Is it good or bad? I think it's a good move. Because I can just trade and trade everything. I also have bishop c4, bishop d5 as well. But this was too early, it's too premature in terms of my opening up the queen side because there's too much time on the clock still. Let's go rook c1. He's thinking, let's see. King F8. I can play h4 at some moment. I'm just gonna go like maybe rook c3. This feels wrong somehow. Rook c3 feels like a very dubious move. Okay, let's just... okay he wants bishop. Oh, that's actually a very good move. I missed it. This is why I should not have. This is why I should have done this later. Because now it's just it's too. Go here. So why did I do this? Because now he gets. Stupid. Really, really out of rhythm. Out of sync. Uh, this might run into d3, but I, he's not going to do it. This takes, I go bishop c4. Okay, bishop b6 is fine. What's this? I go rook b6. King e7. Okay, I just got to move. Again, this is where like I'm doing fine, but I just have to move. Well, which time did I lose connection? Go here. Stupid. Here, I have a five next to me, maybe. A five, a six, I guess this one. Let's go here, hit the rook, bring the king up. I think he misplayed this because now my a pawn is running too. I don't actually see how he's stopping the pawn here. Okay, slow down, just think for a second. Um. So I check, or I can also take and go here. Wait a second. He's got four rooks c4. I mean, rook f4 is fine. Is this winning? Is the question. I don't think it's winning, so I have to play the line that I gives me the best winning chances.
And I, I mean, I'm gonna flag him, but that's just how it goes. Oh my gosh, now I just blundered this one. Oh my gosh. Wow. And I should have gone back too. Wow. So careless. Go here. Wow, so bad. I mean, just so bad. And I also took too long playing this line as well. And I just wanted rookie three also. Oh yeah, yeah. Just playing bad chess right now. And I gave him king f4 too. There we go. There we go. That's one, one of five. Terrible game. Terrible. Absolutely horrendous chess by me. But I get the win. That's one of five. Should be. Well, that's one of five. Okay, let's play. Um, I got a good position last game, so let's play the same thing. Play low rated subs, but you guys, I'm not on my main account, so I'm not going to be too too annoyed. Um, regardless. Okay, he's doing this again. This is not this is not good though. He didn't learn his lesson from the first time. He's still playing this line. Just takes night before it's good. Thank you to Captain Fluffy for the tier one. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Thank you to Mythian for the five. Thank you to Caspina for the five. Thank you to Oli for the two. Thank you to Lamp Stroker for the two months as well. Thank you to Amol, 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 Amol. Thank you. Take a night before. Sorry. Um. He's doing this again, like, it didn't work out last time. No, I just... Ah, he's gonna do this differently. Okay, so I'll take, I'll play F6, cut the knight, play E6 here. Okay, G4, logical. If H6, he has G5, of course. And the question is, do I go Bishop E7, or do I just drop my knight back, or move the bishop out? So many options, so little time. What's the best move? I can actually... I'll just go G5. I'm blind today. It's such an obvious move, and it took me 20 seconds to see it. <sighs> mm. This I am is so good. He's pretty decent. He's not. He's not a bad player at all. Um, the one thing I would say is his issue is he's a, he's a he's a one trick Andy. He doesn't actually know how to play any openings except for the um except for the london system that's 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 the one thing i would say he's not universal enough if he wants to become a strong gm if he, if he could if he could play if he could play multiple openings he would actually be he would actually be very serious um i think he would have a real shot at being like a 2600 gm but he only plays one opening that's that's the problem Oh, I had knight a5. Oh, yo, yo. So bad. Just so bad. Just so, so bad. Is he trying to play e4 here? I'm a little confused. Is the idea to play e4? Because that's not really... I don't think that's really a great concept. Let's can play a6. I'm, again, thinking way too long, as always. I have a feeling this is a terrible move, but... Yeah, now I'll go knight a5. Or a5, I mean, sorry. Probably just rook c8 here. So to be an IM, one only needs to master one opening. I don't know if it's, it's not about mastering one opening, but you have to conceptually, um, yeah, it's not about, it's not as trivial as one opening. That's not really, it's not a fair assessment. Um, again, I feel like I'm playing very badly. I'm just going to go h6. He's got e4, which I just, I guess I, no, I take and go b5. I'm so blind today. I'm just so blind. Okay, I'm going to just drop back. And go king c7, king b7, next two moves. Not blind. No, I'm not tilted. I, I'm not tilted at all. I'm just not seeing things, basically. I'm going to go rook e8, I guess. Bishop g7, rook e8. Yeah, I'm just not, I'm not seeing stuff very well today. Go here. Hopefully I didn't blunder. No, I didn't blunder something. Okay. 
I thought I might have blundered. Let's go rook c8. Save the blindfold chest for later. <laughs> yeah, totally. Actually, rook c3 is a very good move. Can I just go here, though? And I'm going to move the knight somewhere. Okay. Now I think I have time to play h5, though. Thing that I, the, the way that I actually know that I'm not on is every move I play, I, can, I feel this tingling sensation like there's something wrong with the move. That's how you kind of know when you're not on, is you feel that like, it's like you got the sensation that every move that there's something wrong. I think I'll go here. Spidey sense? I don't know. But yeah, it's just like it just every move that I'm playing, it just feels eh, feels a little bit. So that's how I feel whenever I play, right? Okay, but now I can go e5 maybe. I mean, it's like eh, like I know this is a bad move. Do what I just played. I know it's a bad move, but I'm gonna play it anyway. But isn't he getting? Well, I thought it was, but now he's getting checkmated. <laughs> My confidence is down. No, it's not. It's not confidence. You just, I can feel it. It just, yeah, you feel the, yeah, you just feel it. Um, but you, you just, anyway, I'm gonna win this game. But it's like, yeah, you can feel it. <laughs> getting old, <laughs> getting old. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, okay. That I'm, that I'm never on. I guess, okay. Okay. I mean, this is obviously winning now go I mean let's just go back no nonsense let's go here let's go here now I'll take I just take let's go here now if I check this just wins all right, that's two. Let's keep going. Two of five. I blame the fan because it's on full blast, right? D4. Okay, let's let's play this line. Queen D4. God and I. God of Camps and I looked at this line a lot in like 2004. After God on retired, um, we really studied this line a lot together. Let's go C4. Maybe Queen D3. Knight C3. Yeah, God, God and I, we studied this because I played a match against Sergei Karyakin in Cuernavaca, Mexico, and I think it was 2003, if I'm not mistaken. Um, and uh, God and I looked at these lines a lot. The, the FFL, yes, the FFL himself, totally. Now, I can play Bishop G5 here. Bishop A3, I know, is supposed to be pretty good to put pressure on this. Of course, I just blundered Queen A5 because I'm on such a roll right now. Let's go Knight A4, though. If D5, I guess I can just take... How am I with God of these days? Is he over the flag? I have not spoken to God in a very long time. Um, but I, I will say, like, God was sort of this mysterious figure in the American chess scene because he, he played and then he basically walked away from the game, as everybody knows. He, um, let's put this rook here. He, he walked away from, uh, he, he walked away from the game for a long time. Like, he played these world championship matches against Anand and against, um, play H3 against Anand and uh, Karpov, and then he walked away from the game altogether. So he was sort of this mysterious figure because I got good during a time when he wasn't on the scene, but everybody knew who God it was. I mean, he was such a legend. Um, so, uh, so it was just he was one of these mysterious figures and, um, and and everything. But but yeah, like I remember there was this tournament in New York called the New York Chess Masters or the New York Masters. Sorry, it was it was um, one second. Let's go back. It was uh, okay. That's a reasonable move. But I think I just. I think I just kicked. He actually bishop c4, which was just winning a pawn. Let's drop back so no tricks. But he does have some queen c8, maybe. Although I guess I can just move the queen and take and take. I'm gonna go here to hit the knight. Now, now I just move the knight. I don't really know what the idea. I mean, does he really want knight before? I guess he does. Ah, he wants knight d4. That's why he did this. I'm so stupid. Why did I go queen e2 now? Now, now I feel like a complete idiot. I guess I'll go here in f4 maybe and try to open it up. Maybe knight c2 is fine. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go here and queen d3 and knight e3. Or I'll try to at least. But yeah, so so what was I saying? I was saying something about god. I forget what I was saying. If f5, I just take and go here or knight e3, knight d5. Oh, what was it? Oh, yeah, yeah. So I was saying New York Mass. Yeah. So like, I remember playing this and, um, and, and Gata, this was like the early days. People weren't as like open accessible. 
And, um, and I remember he wrote this message. I, I played a game on the top board, so it was broadcast on the internet. Chess Club, they relayed the game. I know that sounds insane now, but it's like, relayed a game? Like, really? Um, but they relayed the game, and uh, and what, what I remember... One second, do I take and take, or do I... No, I just go here and I, I follow the plan. Um, I might have five, maybe. Do I go knight of five or... Uh, yeah, I'm just going to go knight of five. That's probably wrong, but I'm going to do it. Um, but I just, I remember, uh, I, I remember that he wrote this message to me. I was like, it was like, wow, God, I, like he, he said, I played a good game. It was like, ho holy wow. Like God, God himself was messaging me because I, I had such a respect for him. Just an amazing player. And I just blundered again in the meantime because I'm not looking. Um, maybe I can still draw this somehow. Yeah, that's just ridiculous. I just blunder for no reason. I have to do this and take. Although maybe I can sack something. I don't know. Whatever. We'll we'll figure it out later. He's thinking way too long. Th this is actually one thing I, I find a little bit annoying from time to time when people do this, where they think for like forever on the critical move when there's like we both have like 50 seconds. Oh, he miss he misses e4, which is winning though. Wow, this is like I'm surprised he missed that. That's very surprising that he missed e4. Because now he has no time. This is this is why like chess is hard. Because now he has no time and he's just gonna lose the game probably after B. And I just blunder Bishop F2 because I'm I'm just so I'm just on such a roll today. I'm on just such a roll. I just blunder. He's got a Bishop F2 tactic. Whether he sees it or not, we'll see. But I'm just on such a roll. He's got this stupid tactic that I just missed. Of course I miss it. And now I mean I'll probably be able to flag him, but like I, it's just so ridiculous that I did this. Just insane, like, it's just totally insane. I should have gone to H2 because now he has F3 also. Like, and I, it's, I'm so disgusted I don't even want to make a move here, but I will. Go here. So I have Rook B7 now. Wait, is this actually... He just loses. <laughs> garbage. Garbage. Absolute garbage. Thank you Meridian, I'll jet for the Prime. Absolute garbage. So again, absolute garbage. I, by by garbage, I mean garbage by by both of us. I don't, I, I'm not saying he played bad. I played worse than he did. Let's go d5. No, I mean that was total garbage by both of us. We should both be so ashamed of our play. Terrible chess. No, I mean that was not good by me. We we by garbage, I mean the whole game was garbage. We were both garbage. No, I'm not saying he. I'm not flaming him, you guys. I'm not flaming him. I hung f2. I'm garbage too. We're both garbage. Play knight c6 and bishop f5. Chad is baiting. I, I know Chad is baiting me, but like, that's also why I'm sometimes a decent player because like I don't I don't accept failure. I expect better from myself. Hanging f2 was was true two head. Uh, that was a two head move. Agreed. Garbage speed run. Yeah. It's castle. Maybe king b8. <laughs> Just the faster garbage. <laughs> True. No, you guys, I'm not flaming him, though, because I'm very upset with my play. Allowing Bishop takes F2 was, was, was terrible. That was really, really pathetic by me. Because I could have won that game, like, I was up 30 seconds. I can, like, slow play, play A3, B4, do anything, and then I just play B4, fling it, and I'm just, 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 just absolutely losing. Yeah, Gata streams on Twitch. I mean, I'm a big fan of God. I have a lot of respect for him. You know, before before Fabiano and Wesley switched switch federations, I mean, it was the Hikaru and the Gata show. Like that's we were the top two dogs. Um, so so yeah, I have, I have a lot of respect for Gata. I, I mean, I, I wish I wish Gata got more respect for what he's done for American chess. Um, I keep hearing him say God. I'm say I said Gata, not God. Stop it, you guys. I said Gata, Gata. Not God. I said Gata. Um, Jeez. Let's take. <sighs> you guys are impossible this morning. I can play Bishop G4 here, maybe. I wonder about Bishop G4. I can also take and go Bishop G4, but I, I, I don't know. I'm just going to try to do something random, like Knight B6 here. Can't drink with this either. I should have just gone Knight E7. Why didn't I go Knight E7? What am I doing? 
Plays F3, logical move. I think I'm going to start attacking pretty soon. I can also play F6 at some moment. I think what I, makes sense. F6 makes a lot of... I think I'm just going to attack. Let's just go H5, H4, H3. Maybe... Okay, I think I go back and play Knight D5 now. I don't know which Knight I put here. I think I put this Knight probably. I don't know. He's got this, but then F6 or Rook C8 or maybe C6 even. I should play c6 at some point. I don't need to play it yet. I can maybe gambit the wing here, but I'm just going to go h4. If takes, I just take. He's got knight c3 maybe. Okay, now he plays h3, but now he gives me g5 because I got rook g8 with big threats here. So we'll see what he does. If he goes knight c3, I have knight f4 as well. So it's getting a little bit spicy now. I'm going to go c6. Just co Okay, but now I go a6 and perma, perma lock the queen side. And now I'm going to go here and attack, or try to attack at least. Go here. I'm definitely going knight f4. Maybe knight g6, knight f4 even. This looks very, very dangerous. Yeah, like he's he's losing the thread now because now he's now the attack is coming. Because again, knight on f4 with the pawn solidified like this is this a problem? I'm gonna do it even if it's not good because I'm trusting these pawns are too weak and that he's getting sauce on the g file. Now I can I can obviously just go like rook g7 maybe. I think I'm just gonna ignore it. I'm just gonna keep double stacking. Try to go rook d8. Maybe queen d8. Put max pressure. Oh, I missed knight d3 with the fork. I'm so bad at chess. I am so bad at this game. Why am I so terrible? I'm so terrible at this game. Why am I so bad? Knight d3. I'm just so bad. It's unbelievable. <laughs> I mean, that's like, I should have seen that like 10 moves ago. So bad. Okay, plays knight e4. I guess I, I just take and take. Let's go rook here, let's go queen here, maybe f6. Maybe just, I gave him, okay, misses it. I guess I just go f6 here. Chip away at the structure. Han so good, he is so bad. Love it, love it, you guys, love it. Okay, I can go queen c7 and takes, but then he goes d5. Um, I think if I go over, there is no tactic. Queen b6, I just take. If takes, I just take. I don't see tactics here, so I should be fine. I guess if I take, I can take, but I just take and I block. Okay, now, now I just go here and, cl and clean up, I think. I should be cleaning up the board. Just go here, double, rook d2. If bishop e6, just rook e7, collect the pawn. Just go here. I just, I don't want to mess this up somehow, which is the main thing. Okay, but I just take, I rook b5. And now I hit the queen and everything collapses. <laughs> I only have... Oh, whoa, time is low. I didn't realize how low on time I am. He resigns. Let's go again. Let's do one more, you guys. It's like it's like Federer saying I'm bad at tennis. That's four in a row, isn't it? I think that's four in a row. How's it been so far with TSM? It's been great. Probably going to be doing something, some kind of event down the road, you guys, with like some of the big dogs. So um, play C3, D4, maybe. Some like you? No, I meant real. I meant real people, you guys, like Myth or Wardell. I, I, I mean, I meant real people. Oh, I could have gone D5, C4. I should have done this. Let's go D5 and takes and C4 maybe. My rook doesn't belong in E1. I don't know why I did this. It's so stupid. I'm so terrible at this game. If he plays B6. Um, I think I just go A3, B3, B4. Go here, b4. If f5, I have knight g5, I think. I, just, I think this order is wrong because on f5, I can just take now. Ah, but no, but then he has a bishop e5, maybe. I don't care. Let's just go for it. If f5, I'm just going to take. So if he takes, I have knight h4 or knight e5, rook e5, queen h5, which I think is very bad for black. All the TSM players excited you joined TSM. Sub Rose was so excited that you followed him on Twitter. You know, I'm going to say, you guys, that's one thing that's really. It's very weird being a chess player because it's like, so in the chess world, like I, this is not a flex, so don't take it as a flex, but it's like in a way we're like, we're like, I don't want to, I mean, maybe it's like we're idolized or something. I don't know how best to put it. Um, let's play C5 and takes, 
But like, we're like, we're viewed as like really amazing people. For better or worse. I don't really believe in it, obviously. I mean, I'm just, I just play chess. But don't worry, you're not. Don't worry, you're not. In the chess world, yeah, it's, it's kind of odd. Like, but it's like that in the chess world. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Um, but, but, but the point I was going to make is so like in the chess world, your perspective gets, gets really like, it gets really warped in a way. It's like, I mean, we're just chess players. Like, we're just chess players. Like, big deal. We play a game, we push pieces, push wooden pieces. Um, so it's like, it, you suck, don't worry, yeah. So, but then like, then when it comes to like, like streaming, for example, I see guys like, like Myth or, you know, XQC, these guys, and these are like, these are like my idols. These are like the guys that I like, I think they're amazing. Um, I just press buttons, right? <laughs> um, so it's, it's like, I view these guys in that way. And so it's just, it's very weird because they like, they view me that way. But it's just, it's just, it's, it's strange, strange world, I, I would say. So it's just kind of bizarre. I'm going to go Rook B2 and, and protect the knight. Um, I'm an arrow drawing pog champ, yeah. <laughs> yeah, so like, that's the thing. It's like, I mean, I think of these streamers like that, but then they think of me differently. So it's just a very, it's just a very interesting, interesting world. Now, I think I'm going to, wait, if I take E4, I don't even know what's going on, but I'm just going to take... Wow, he doesn't even he doesn't even snap with e4, which I thought was a good move. I just go knight e4 here. I gotta protect, close the diags. Um, so so yeah, so it's just one of those things. Um, you know, I, I it's like that's the thing. Like when I see these guys, or, or even like somebody like Shroud, it's like wow, this guy's amazing. I mean, he's Shroud, like, and I'm just a random chess player. So so let's go rook d2, um, and I just take. I can play bishop b2 here. I can also maybe just grab. No, but then g4, knight h4, what's going on? Queen f2 is not really a threat. I'm moving too slowly because now I'm talking too much. I'm just going to grab. This might be bad, but I'm going to grab. Because now if he takes, I take and I support. I'm sure this is a bad move, but I, I don't know. Your perspective is definitely warped. Okay, so I'm just wrong is what you're saying? Okay, that's sad. So I'm just wrong. I'm insane. Good to know. Good to know. I had a feeling it was. Yeah, of course he just takes and I'm just losing the game because I'm not paying attention. Now I have to play like 94 or something horrendous, which just is no good. Oh, I could have gone bishop e3 maybe. Uh, whatever. I just got to move fast here because the time's, time's flattening out. Um, my opinion is wrong. <laughs> my opinion is wrong. Okay, let's go. I bishop a3. I'm so bad at this game. Why am I so terrible at chess? Oh, so terrible. And now I have some knight g Okay, it goes queen g4. That doesn't actually concern me that much. So I think I just side step and I can still take. I have knight g5. I also have h3 maybe. This position's getting interesting. I guess I just go h3, kick the queen. I have knight g5 or g4 at some point. But now isn't this just winning? So I take, he, he just, he got fossilized. But now I go g4, and now his whole king side gets closed. Now I go queen e6, and I just win, I think. It's not blunder here. Go here, try to trade. And I blundered knight e3. He missed knight e3, which was good. And he, I'm, I allowed it again. I'm so terrible at chess. I'm just so terrible. Let's go here. I'm gonna check. Go here, because I take. It's just classic geometry. Or is it? Uh, that's game. All right, you guys. I think that's five in a row, right? I said it would five in a row. I am a man of my word. Find a way to win five in a row. <laughs> that's differential geometry right there. Yeah.